Bet you never heard of them. That's Dirty Looks, right? Dirty Looks from Staten Island. Staten Island band, local band. Probably one of the most underrated bands that I can remember, right? They were on... They were in rotation on uh, on uh, MTV. Two hit songs, Let Go and 12 O'Clock High. That was 12 O'Clock High. And they just like fell off the face of the earth, right? 1981, 1982. Uh, big fan. This is probably, this is at uh, a theater called, this is on Staten Island Theater called uh, the St. George Theater. I may have been there. I saw them a bunch of times at the time. And uh, the bass player, Marco Sin. Marco Sin, dead. Dead at like a young age, drug addiction. That's what causes it. You know, that's what causes these people to, you know, to to rise up with great talent and then just, you know, just crumble away, like kind of disintegrate, you know. So so let's talk about this fake journalist. Let's talk about this guy. I'm calling him a fake journalist. I, uh, J- J- Jamal Khashoggi. Jamal Khashoggi, the guy from Saudi Arabia who was, uh, he was visiting Turkey Went into the embassy to talk, and they chopped him up into pieces and threw him, you know, threw his pieces out the back door to the dogs. Right? And everybody was so upset about it. Oh, the Saudis—they killed a journalist on in Turkey. You heard? Well, they, I never—I covered the story briefly, but the way my read on uh, Jamal Khashoggi was that he's not a journalist. He's not a worker. For the for the C, for the uh, Washington Post, I almost said the CIA, right? because the Washington Post is the CIA. But I, he's not he's not a true journalist. The guy is a Saudi, you know, deep involved in the Saudi uh, stuff. So the story is that the breaking story is that the Saudis the Saudis have found five people guilty and worthy of the death penalty for the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. So. Let's have a look. So Saudi Arabia sentenced five to death for a Jamal Khashoggi killing. Really? So so this is coming out of Saudi Arabia. A court in Saudi Arabia on Monday sentenced five people to death for the killing of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi. He's not a fucking Washington Post columnist. He might have wrote something and the Washington Post picked it up because it's anti-Saudi. It's anti-Prince. It's just a... It's, he's, not a, he's not a journalist. He's not there doing journalism. He's there. He's probably a spy, if anything else, right? It just doesn't add up. That, that sound you hear, by the way, somebody asked me, what is that? It's a guitar pick, man. It's my lucky guitar pick. See that? that that's a guitar pick, a $1 guitar pick, by the way. It's, um, I don't know, it's, they're handmade. They're hand, hand-blown. Dunlap makes them. And it has the, the, thing, <laughs> it has the thing where... The, where you where you could see it's like it's, it's so your finger doesn't slide. It's a fucking great musical instrument, man. I love this. I love this pick. So uh, I have a bunch of them, by the way. Saudi's uh, state-run <laughs> TV channel reported that three others were also sentenced to prison. All can appeal the verdict. Now, will we see five people die for Khashoggi's death? Uh, I don't know about that. We're going to look at his background. I just want to take a quick look at, at his background and get out of this stupid story because he's not worthy of the attention he's getting. The crown prince drew international condemnation for the killing because several Saudi agents involved uh, work directly with him. Listen, Saudi Arabia is a barbaric, you know, fucking crazy-ass place where they chop people's heads off. There's no freedoms of religion. Women can't drive. They chop off their clitoris. They, they cut off penises. They're fucking nuts. Right, they 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 enslave the you know smaller country down below, uh, uh, fucking Yemen, and and uh, you know and cause them to fight and throw bombs at Iran. They're crazy. They buy you know the problem is that they buy a hundred or nine hundred. I don't know how many billions of dollars, nine hundred ninety billion dollars worth of U.S. arms. So that's why they're our friend right? and can do no wrong. Uh, so when when Khashoggi gets killed and it it, fla- it it slaps back on Trump and Trump's persona, now the Saudis got to kill somebody. Somebody's got to take the hit for the um, for the fact that that this this guy got slaughtered and was framed as a journalist right? because he's not a journalist. He's up to he was up to something. We'll never find out what he was up to. But the Saudis are a barbaric place and they they took the law, their laws. He's a Sau- I don't know if he's a Saudi. Guy, but he's on Saudi soil in Saudi Arabia, and they, they chopped them up, man. It's just uh, so 
I, I mean, I know this is not a popular opinion. I'm taking it, uh, you know, as a someone who does journalism, I guess I, I should back him. But no, no, you can't just you can't be both. You can't be a spy and working for the Washington Post CIA and 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 your whole background that we're going to look at in a second is Saudi shit, right? No way. So, um, so after holding, it's a it's a kangaroo court, right, in Saudi Arabia. After holding nine sessions, the trial concluded that there was no previous intent by those guilty to murder, according to the the trials. Uh, the court it, it was uh, done in almost complete secrecy, right? Complete, the court is complete secrecy, right? Khashoggi had walked into the country's con- con- consulate in Istanbul on that morning uh, in October uh, 2018 to collect documents that would allow him to wed his Turkish fiance, Hatis, whatever, who waited for him outside. He never walked out. Here's a, here's a little video uh, compilation. Let's check this out by the post. White people have been sentenced to death in Saudi Arabia for killing Jamal Khashoggi. And I, be, I believe this is him. Security goes out, lets him in, and there he is, walking in, surveillance footage, captured Khashoggi, entering the consulate in October. Uh, and in killing that shocked the world, he never walked out. Yeah, all right. All right. People get killed all the time. Three people just jumped off the bridge and fucking this month alone in Staten Island. Nobody's talking about that. Donald Trump condemned the killing and his administration sanctioned 17 Saudis of being involved, though not the crown prince. Trump, however, has steadfastly resisted calling calls for members of his own party for a tougher response and has uh, defended maintaining good relations with Saudi Arabia, framing its importance as a major buyer of U.S. military equipment and weapons and saying this creates American jobs. You fucking idiot. You fucking moron, Trump. How do you say that? That, that good jobs could creates American jobs, building fucking bombs and guns that that kill innocent people you fucking moron Ugh, guy i hate that shit meanwhile numerous critics of saudi prince remain imprisoned and face trial uh, so here's khashoggi i want you to hear this jamal khashoggi was born in medina on uh, in 1958 his grandfather khashoggi uh, was turkish married a saudi woman his so his grandfather who was Turkish, married a Saudi woman who was personal physician to the king of Saudi Arabia. Uh, You see the ties? You see the connection? Khashoggi was the nephew of the high-profile Saudi Arabian arms dealer. Fucking Adnan Khashoggi, known for his part in the Iran-Contra scandal, who was estimated to have a net worth of $4 billion in the early 80s. Khashoggi had claimed that his own grandfather was a Jewish descendant. Jamil Khashoggi was the first cousin of blah, 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 blah. You see that? That he's, in, he's, a fucking, he's involved in the, in, in the high-end, high-stakes game of arms dealing. And he gets whacked, and, and, and we should feel sorry for him and say, oh, the poor journalist. Fuck you. <laughs> That's what I say, man. Fuck you, man, Khashoggi. Kishogi, he's dead, right? So, so five people are gonna swing. Will we ever see that? Will we ever see the the heads of the five people that that are gonna swing for Kishogi? I don't think so. But. Uh, I don't know.